put the ball of your foot, the weight into the foot like this. <laughs> jab, good, jab. Firming your body weight will increase the power in this. So let's start off slowly. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. So my name's Tony Jeffries. Uh, I was a professional boxer, had 106 fights in my career, won seven national titles. My hope from today, from this session, is that you can help, I can help improve you in your, your stand-up, your, your boxing ability. All right, guys, what we're gonna start off, we're gonna just start off just jogging around the gym. Ready? All right, let's do it. Okay, so you're gonna start off with the basics of boxing. On the stance, some movement, some basic punches, then we get a little bit more advanced from there. So, uh, I think you all know your, your fighting stance. If you're right-handed, you're left foot forward. If you're left-handed, you're right foot forward. So let's get in your fighting stance. Now, in boxing, you always want to have that line in between your feet and some loose knees here. Let's see it, let's see it. So you've got a line in between your feet, get in your fighting stance. Hands up by the face, elbows in here. Yeah, elbows in. All right, good. So now what you're going to do, you're going to work on some footwork moving forwards and backwards. So when you move forwards, you're going to move twice. When I say forwards, twice with your front foot. And when I see your back, moving twice back with your back foot. Now with this, it's important that you keep the same distance in between your feet, right? We don't want to bring our feet together like this, because in this position here, we're off balance. If we get hit here, we, we're going to fall, right? So you want to keep that same distance in between your feet, right? Yeah, let's try it. Move forward, move back, good. Move forward, move back, nice. Now when we move in left and right, when you move left, always want to move your left foot first. When you move in right, always want to move your right foot first. Basic stuff, but let's drill it. Because if I move to the left, I put my right foot first, I'm in this position. So let's try it. Move left, two steps. Move right. Move left. Move right. Move left. Move right. Move forward. Move back. Now let's work on some punches. The most important punch in boxing, the jab. If you're, you're right-handed, it's your straight left hand. The way we're going to throw that comes from the face, comes all the way out, all the way back. We can be on our feet here if we want. <laughs> or we can step with it to get a little bit more power in. So you can step on the spot. Put the ball of your foot, the weight into the foot like this. <laughs> yeah? Let's try it. Jab. Good. Jab. 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 Next, we're gonna move on to the cross, the number two. The right hand if you're right-handed, your left hand if you're left-handed. Now, the way we're gonna just throw that at first, from your face, comes all the way out, all the way back. So our weight is 50-50 here. When we throw this, we're transferring the weight to 60% of our front leg. This is how you generate the power in the punch. So I'm here. Yeah, let's try it. Two, call it a two. 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 Nice. Two. This time I want you to throw it and hold it. Two. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. You should feel the weight in the front leg. Back heels off the ground. The more speed you can get into this hip, the more power you're going to get in that punch. Two. Yes, perfect. Much better. Two. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put them together. One, two. So we threw that one. As the one is coming back in your face, the two is coming out. So we're here. <laughs> that hip turn as well. <laughs> one, two. Let's try it. One, two. Nice. One, two. Fully extend. One, two. One, two. One, two. We're going to stop. We're going to throw the one, two. If you throw that one, two, we're in this perfect position to whip in that hook. Now, the way you generate power into this punch, same thing with these hips. The hips are there, hips are there. Transferring your body weight will increase the power in this. So let's start off slowly. One, two, hook. Yeah, let's try it. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. This time, hold it. One, two, hook, hold it. Now your back heel should be on the ground, right? Your back hand should be by your face. Your lead hand out in front. To get extra power, the back heel off, off the ground, because you're getting that extra bit of rotation there. So again, one, two, hook. Let's try it, one, two, hook. 
Nice. One, two, hook. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, one, two, hook. I want you to think of this sound. Ba, ba, ba. It's not ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. But ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Let's try it. One, two, hook. And relax, and relax. One, two, hook. Ba, ba, ba. One, two, hook. Ba, ba, ba. Good. Turn, them bo turn that body. One, two, hook. Nice. One, two, hook. Now from here, all we're going to do, we're going to bring this back to our face, bringing the elbow in, and as we do that, we're going to turn this hip and throw the two. So that's the transition from the hook to the two. So it's a one, two, hook. It's coming in. Two. Back, 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 back. Yeah. One, two, hook, two. Let's try it. One, two, hook, two. Nice. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, hook, two. One, two, hook, two. Step back. Step left. Step right. One, two. One, two. Good. Now we're going to go on to a defensive move. The slip, right? So we're going to do a, a straight one, two. As the two's coming back, we're going to slip to our backside. Our, 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 if you're right-handed, you're right. Now, remember what I said about that line in between your feet? That's where the punch is coming down. So we threw that one, two. As that punch is coming down, we're going to slip. Head comes off, putting the weight on the back foot. So it's going to be a one, two, slip. One, two, slip. Let's try it. One, two, slip. Head off that center line. Boom, good. One, two, slip. Nice. One, two, slip. Lovely, lovely. Let's do it slowly. Get the technique right. I want you to feel the weight transfer. One, two, slip. Nice. One, two, slip. Yeah. Now you know what's coming next. That big counter punch, right? So we've done that one, two, slip. So the weight's on the back leg. We're going to come back with our big right hand. One, two, slip, two. Yeah. Let's try it. One, two, slip, two. Nice. One, two, slip, two. One, two, slip, two. Lovely. To land a punch is 10 times harder than being here like this, right? Because if I'm here with someone with experience, they know what's coming. So what have we got to do to be able to land that punch. The most common punch in boxing is the jab. Everyone's expecting the bloody jab. So what we've got to do is not show them that we're going to throw that jab. And the best way of doing that, is what my man's just said there, is by fainting, right? So rather than this, imagine if I do this. <laughs> way more chance of hitting, right? My favorite way of fainting correctly is with the, if I'm fainting the jab, I'm going to step with my front foot and just bring this hand up in front, right? So I'm here. Great feint, I'm here, right? Because if you think about it, if you're in front of me and you see, uh, if you see this, it looks like it's going to be this. So to get a perfect feint, you've got to do exactly what you're going to, you would be doing if you were going to throw that punch or in Muay Thai, the same thing, a kick. If you're going to feint a kick, you've got to feint it the exact same way as you would throw it to get your opponent to believe it, right? So all we want now, I want you to do it at your own pace. We're just going to be here. I just want to feint a jab. Here, 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 feint a jab. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Spend a minute on this. You see? Feint. Boom. Yeah, better. Pull it up, please. Nice, good, good, good. All right, let's add the two on that now. So we're here. So we're here, well, I want you just moving around just a little bit. Moving around just a little bit. One hour toes. Relaxed, relaxed. Feeling papa. One, two, with that hit, turn them hips. We're here, we're here, here. Feeling, full out big one, two. Yeah, let's do it. Realistic feeling. Let's go. Cool. 
Nice, nice. And relax guys, good work. What we're going to do, me <laughs> we're going to be in front of each other like this, with our hands down, right? We're going to be moving around. You got to try and, we're not punching, we're touching. I've got the gloves on just in case anyone pokes anyone in the eye. So it's not a punch, it's a touch. So we're moving around, you got to touch my shoulder, I've got to touch your shoulder. Hands are down, hands are down. Cool. Yeah, so that's it. So, the reason, does that, does, yeah, yeah. Does anyone know why we've got the hands down? The only way you can defend is by moving your feet or using your reactions here, like you said, right? So, you're gonna get with a partner, moving around, touching, not punching, right? Here, here, you're gonna do 90 seconds, and then we're, then we're gonna switch, switch partners, right? Three, two, one work time, let's go. Hands down, hands down, hands down, hands down, hands down. Hands down, hands down. Hands down, hands down, hands down. Yes, yes. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Hands down, hands down, hands down. Hands down, hands down. Good work, boys, good work. Good. Hands down, hands down. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Nice, keep them hands down. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Just hit the bell not to miss any content that we create for you almost every week.